Yo, yo, big dog here from the land of smiles. Um, make a quick video. Uh, I've got a little time to spare. <clears throat> so, I just wanted to show a couple of my attacks from this war against Time Vortex, another CWL clan, CWL light, I believe. Um, uh, frustrating war, really, one we should have won. We missed a lot of dips. They have a two Town Hall 11 advantage, which at this level is. Um, pretty impossible to overcome but even that being said this is one we should have won really um, but anyway I wanted to show uh, two of my attacks um, six pack this wall which is a rarity at the minute I'm struggling against some of these uh, CWL bases but um, everyone is um, I'll just bring the base up when I'm talking everyone is is bitch attacking and a lot of the bases now are very anti-bitch they've got bombs outside uh, and they just seem to be set up that we were getting a lot of 99% or very high 90% fails on dips um, and I much prefer to use air so uh, and, and these bases this kind of setup here is very common um, you've got four you've got you know an AD end and you've got a inferno uh, side with uh, and obviously all the air bombs are packed on the inferno side um, so uh, you know and, and you're seeing a lot of handling in tunnel 10 as well almost exclusively handling and I'm still a believer that you can quad you can pen to any base with handling in uh, as an 11 hit in a 10 um, it's just high risk with a base like this because obviously a base like this is designed um, to stop air really obviously if you look at the, you know where the hounds are going to go they're all just going to clump up around the bomb um, once the ADs are down, they're just going to get owned by all the air bombs and go down. So these anti-air bases uh, made it tough. But when you've got a base like this, uh, you can actually push through uh, and just take a, a, a fairly heavy kill squad and take all four of these ADs out. Um, and that's what I do here, get huge value from this kill squad. So just a couple of test loons to make sure there's no black bombs that would kill my baby drags because I need that funnel created otherwise this raid is over before it's begun um, there weren't any but I'm still glad that I made the decision to to do that because without it that funnel wouldn't be created and like I said it's raid over so I jump there just bridges um, two compartments I've got a max golem eight bowlers uh, I think there's about four or five whiz and all heroes uh, rage down as they enter. Uh, yeah, as always, Houndling, this is obviously a fresh hit. Houndling comes out. That does hold up the kill squad, um, but not too much. Queen uh, doesn't jump the wall, but no problem with bowlers there. Um, and bowlers are actually come around the sides now, taking out the, the other two ADs. The queen's still pretty much full health here. So she's actually going to get a lot more value than I anticipated. I was hopeful I might get uh, one or two sweepers. Didn't realise the testers were going to be there, but I believe I get probably all of those as well, as well as two wizard towers. So just with the kill squad, uh, I've taken out most of this base. Um, just, just a bit late really, but I just didn't want to pop the queens a bit early because I was getting so much value. She actually does take out two wizard towers as well. Now two hounds in really just to tank for for bombs and then it's just hastes all the way around and a uh, freeze for that back in Inferno. Now I did this attack previously and neither hound popped um, and the same thing happens here which causes me a problem for cleanup. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about that whether just to take one hound in a situation like this or even just straight straight loon it, mass loon it. Um, and, and, or drop a hound and bring more cleanup. I have got some minions on this side because um, I knew that that was potentially going to be an issue the hounds not popping but the cleanup's a bit rough here there's a lot to do with not a huge amount of time I think this raid came down to uh, probably two or three seconds left um, so I'll fast forward it because it, it, you know it is just clean up it's not the most exciting thing to watch but yeah I mean that kill squad push just got so much value I think um, a situation like that again maybe one hound and a load more minions or even mass loon I miss mass loon and mass loon three stars um, just not bringing hounds at all 
Uh, once those ADs are down, yeah, you can you can I could have just overpowered that with uh, with loons. Uh, I'll skip down to my second uh, dip, which was similar, if not the same army. I'll just stop it and look at the base. Yeah, so it's slightly different now. The ADs are obviously all accessible again, but spread a lot more widely. Um, a slightly different configuration to the base. Um, what I decided to do was just place a jump here to bridge this outer wall and this inner wall so that the kill squad, what I was going to do is wall break in here but jump here uh, and allow the kill squad to come into this compartment but I didn't want them leaving these two flanking ADs um, really from the kill squad I need all these four ADs to go down so just decided to put the jump here um, so that the kill squad doesn't go too deep uh, let's have a look what happens I, I take a bit more of a gamble this time just because the last guy didn't have them I don't do the test lean this time uh, for black bombs. The gamble pays off. Um, could have actually afforded it. We'll see how many troops I had left at the end of this, but um, small risk there. I still, still confident I could have created the funnel without that if black bombs did go down. So same kill squad as last time. Get a bit th deeper for the rage this time. Queen does come straight over. Uh, bowlers take her out, I believe. Same CC, Hound Loon as always. And there you go, Boulder's going to that. Now I did know that I was going to leave that, um, that that AD just from where I placed the jump. I thought if I get the Inferno, I can just start the Lalo from that, that side. And that AD is obviously the first thing that the Loons are going to go to. <coughs> so just waiting for the Queen to come over and uh, take out this Inferno. Once she gets through the trash, and uh, now she's on it. Pop the ability, start the Lalo. And yeah, just a couple of leads there. Freeze the Inferno, only Inferno left, of course. And then haste to come round. Did probably dump the loons in to, you know, could have, could have done with saving a couple for the back end. Maybe a heal on the back end as well, someone suggested, rather than just the haste, because obviously all the air bombs are there. Um, and I think a lot of them took out loons rather than hounds actually so this one does get a little bit close still got hound up last haze goes down more clean up this time just because I didn't want a similar situation of not having enough and that last hound again doesn't pop But with the extra cleanup, not such an issue on time this time. Yeah, so that's how you can uh, air attack um, an anti air base. If all four ADs are on offer like that, just invest in a heavy kill squad and uh, you know, take a smaller low low portion. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, I was pleased with that. Shame we lost the war. We got an interesting war uh, this time against a lot of the guys uh, from Zod. Uh, a lot of familiar names in, in this war uh, against Insane Flame, which is a Spanish clan and just about to start their version of uh, of CWL. So Svar, Solo, I think Alan as well, Luniac, Mab, obviously both been over in uh, in PZ, Funian as well, um, over in. Uh, over in the Spanish clan, so this is interesting, and I think it's a much better format than CWL. These guys, you're not allowed dips, so there's four 11s on each side, and we have to hit 11s. We cannot dip. The 10s have to hit the 10s or 11s. They can go up, uh, but you just can't go down. So 10 on 10, there's no dips. Nine on nine, tens can't dip either. I think it will make for a really interesting war, and it's more of a challenge, right? As a, as an eleven hitting ten, there's no glory. If you, if you, six pack as an eleven dipping, well, that's your job. That's what you're supposed to do. And believe me, it's not easy. Um, it, it's not as easy as it, as it might look. Uh, you know, and, and so you, you know, you can't. <clears throat> you either do your job or you fail. And 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 oh my God, how could you, how could you dip fail? You know, there's no glories in eleven. Whereas if we're doing pit hits 11 on 11, it makes it more interesting. They're going to be very rare, the three stars, but they're going to be so satisfying when we do get them. So looking forward to this war. That's it, just a quick vid. See you all next time.